to help Taiwan. Dozens US F-22 blitzing China bases to warn all out war with China. While this certainly sends a message to deter any potential Chinese aggression and demonstrate support for Taiwan, the presence of the F-22 also brings a few tactical and operational variables to mind. The Pentagon is blitzing the Pacific, with the addition of as many as 25 combat-ready F-22 to Guam, a clear display of fifth-generation air dominance power poised to respond quickly in the event of some kind of fast-emerging conflict. A report in Forbes magazine says the newly arriving F-22 from both Joint Base Elmendorf-Richardson, Alaska and Joint Base Pearl Harbor-Hickam, says the arriving fifth-generation aircraft will be training, practicing, and preparing for a potential war with China. For instance, the F-22 is referred to by developers as an aerial quarterback, given its ability to employ high-end sensors and communications systems to connect with any accompanying fourth-gen aircraft. This means it is not entirely impossible, particularly given more recent technological upgrades with RF links and communication system to the aircraft, that the F-22 could function as part of a dispersed, integrated combat network of nodes across a massively dispersed area. While the Pacific is widely referred to as presenting a tyranny of distance for U.S. and Allied forces in the region, the proximity between Guam and Taiwan, coupled with the speed and rapid deployment ability of the F-22, means they could quickly take off to defend Taiwan to counter any kind of Chinese invasion. This introduces the prospect of close air support, because while the F-22 was primarily intended for air to air dominance warfare, the jet is also capable of air ground attack, as was demonstrated in 2014, during the jet's combat debut against ISIS. Then there is the question of F-22 weapons, which have been overhauled, with a massive 3.2B software upgrade in recent years, giving several of its air weapons vastly expanded combat attack capability. The weapons improvements arm F-22, with AIM-9X Block II, an adaptation that builds upon the existing Block I. Raytheon AIM-9X weapons developers explain that the Block II variant adds a redesigned fuse and a digital ignition safety device that enhances ground handling and in-flight safety. Block II also features updated electronics that enable significant enhancements, including lock-on after launch capability, using a new weapon data link to support beyond visual range engagements, a Raytheon statement said. Another part of the weapons upgrade includes engineering the F-22 to fire the AIM-120D, a beyond visual range advanced medium range air to air missile, AMROM, designed for all weather day and night attacks, it is a fire and forget missile, with active transmit radar guidance, Raytheon data states. All of this raises the key strategic question as to whether the F-22 will prevail in any kind of war against Chinese fifth-generation J-20 or J-31. Many regard the F-22 as the most dominant air to air dominance fighter jet in the world, something which an actual aerial combat engagement against Chinese aircraft could demonstrate in the event of war.